The establishment of Martin Luther King Jr. Day granted an honor that until that time had only belonged to one American, George Washington. Congress passed a bill designating Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday as a national holiday. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated on April 4th, 1968. He was 39 years old. Four days later, the first bill to establish a day honoring him was proposed in Congress. It took 15 years and dozens of proposed congressional bills before it finally passed. In his closing remarks on the House floor before final passage of this bill, the House Speaker Tip O'Neill said, Martin Luther King changed America, all of America. He changed it not by a force of arms, but by a moral force. He asked us to become the country that we always claim to be, a country of equal justice, of equal opportunity, a country where all men, all men, are created equal. As he closed his speech, Congress erupted in a standing ovation. The federal bill establishing Martin Luther King Jr. Day was signed into law on November 2nd, 1983 by President Reagan, who referred to Dr. King as America's, quote, preeminent nonviolent commander. In recounting Dr. King's life and works during his signing speech, President Reagan noted, quote, Dr. King had awakened something strong and true, a sense that true justice must be colorblind. And among and that among white and black Americans, as he put it, their destiny is tied with our destiny and their freedom is inextricably bound to our freedom. We cannot walk alone. When many of us think of Dr. King, we think of his I Have a Dream speech in front of thousands, hundreds of thousands at the National Mall in Washington, DC. Dr. King's dream was deeply rooted in the American dream. The American dream that was founded on a set of values values of freedom, equality, opportunity, and fair play. Martin Luther King Jr. was a social justice warrior, a nonviolent warrior for our American values, an end to discrimination, an end to poverty, for peace, for basic human rights for everyone. These days, it's easy to be callous, to be indifferent, to ignore the suffering of so many of our fellow Americans to turn a blind eye towards the inequality that exists in our society. But Dr. King refused to be indifferent to inequality and racism. He refused to willfully ignore those living impoverished lives in the ghetto. Dr. King called on all of us to not be a bystander to injustice. He said injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. He called on us to not be a bystander to the chronic desperation that exists in so many of our communities. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is a day established to reflect on the principles of nonviolent social change and racial equality. It is a day to reflect on the American dream, a day to ask ourselves, why are so many poor stuck in poverty? Why are so many in the middle class just one illness, just one accident away from being put in poverty? Why does racism still exist? A day to ask ourselves, how can we have an economic how can we have economic growth that does not just flow up, but rather where everyone benefits from the amazing capitalist engine that we have here in America? In this body, we are children of privilege. We all have overcome our own unique struggles, to be sure. But we are fortunate to all have had the opportunity to get a good education, to not have to worry about going to bed hungry, to be able to sleep in a warm home, and with that privilege comes responsibility, a responsibility to govern in a way that helps make the American dream a reality for everyone. How will we use this privilege, this opportunity, this power that we have been given to lift up those who don't have this privilege, this opportunity and, and this power that we have? How can we use our power to help move our society from a thing-oriented society to a people-oriented society? How do we move our society to understand that not everything has a price? Dr. King said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. 
We know where Dr. King measured. He stood strong. And for this, the positions that he took, which were often unpopular at the time, he paid for with his life. His values, the values of the American dream, call to us. They make us uneasy at times. Uneasy when we see our fellow Alaskans sleeping on the streets in the cold. Uneasy when we witness children who don't have enough food to eat. We have made huge strides, but we know we, that tremendous inequality still exists. We know that racism still exists. We know that our economy is not fair to everyone. As this session starts, Mr. President, we have an opportunity to help make Dr. King his dream a reality and the American dream a reality for everyone. And I look forward to honoring Dr. King by working with all of you to do our part to help make that happen. Thank you. Thank you for those inspiring words.